pair drop, transferring files between devices. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior, where we help seniors understand technology and help them transfer files between devices. We really appreciate participation from our audience. And today, Drew King has stepped up and created a video on how to use pair drop. Please enjoy his video. And thanks for watching Tech for Senior. This is a quick introduction to a service available on the internet for free called PeerDrop. And they say it is the easiest way to transfer files across devices. And I happen to agree that it's very simple and the devices don't have to be in the same room, on the same Wi-Fi, or even the same kind of device. Uh, if you meet somebody that takes a picture of you with their camera, uh, and they have an iPhone and you have an Android phone, uh, you can both go to airdrop.net on your phones and your system will look like this. And there's, um, I am known as Surface 7 and I have this, this got chopped off a little bit. This first one says, on this network. That means other devices that are at PeerDrop.net on my local Wi-Fi. By paired devices. You can be discovered by paired devices at all times, independent of the network. And then there's this one. You can be discovered by any device in the public room, independent of the network. Uh, and this network is called NIXVS. If I click over here, it says temporary public room, and this is the room number. So I open the temporary room, and you open this window as well, and then either I will type in your code or you'll type in my code, and we'll join into the same room. And as long as you're in the room together, you will see each other. I'm going to launch uh, I'm going to launch the Pair VPN app on my phone and Pair Drop phone on my Pair Drop on my app on my cell phone and you'll see that I'm the Surface 7, and now out here is the S21 Android device. And I can click to send files or right-click to send a message. And if I click to once, it opens up a file browser, and then I can click a file and say open, and it will pop a box up on my cell phone and I'll say accept and now you'll see the file is being transferred to my cell phone and that's all there is to it that's the entire application and how you would use it so if you encounter somebody that needs to move a file from one cell phone to another cell phone or maybe you're at the library and you want to transfer a file that you created on the public computer and you know copy it to your cell phone um, you can do that there's all kinds of uses for it um, if you have somebody that you need to send some sensitive documents to and you'd rather not put them in email this is a way to send that those personal documents to somebody directly from computer to computer and